actually screened out the interface. So I bring out the interface, and of course, by the guys getting interested in this is stream function. So in this stream function, you got like some those three items here. It's an invitation, of course. You can copy this unique link to share this anyway from your Facebook Messenger line anything you want. So send it to your friend, and if they click it, so you can stop this right here. So what I'm going to do is send an invitation to the other email account. So basically, the email can ask here. So what you can see here, so I refresh the, oh, I don't have to refresh it. So I got the invitation here. So let's see the invitation here. I just easily just click accept invite. And then we initiate this specific session for my share from this PC. So we just open it. So Alex, are we doing a LAN or a WAN demo between these machines? Uh, for this demo, I'm doing LAN. Okay, yeah, LAN. And is gigabit required? Uh, no, just like I said, 10. Seven to ten okay, yes. and so on. Somebody will say a medium strength Wi-Fi. This will work okay. Sorry, I mean, for somebody who has a medium strength Wi-Fi in their house, this technology will work okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I also tried this in our lab with internet, like not with a specific thing. It was pretty perfect for me. Now it's within the same country. I cannot say out of the country, out of like my small, small island. I cannot say that. But at least for this one, in my country, it was pretty well. Yeah. So that's sure. This is beta, of course. You can see beta out there. So this is uh, just like I mentioned. It's a video stream. So what I can do here is, like I said, we have a couple of options here to interact with your friend. So we have three options here. Watch me play, plays as me, and plays alongside me. So what I'm going to do first is, of course, watch me play. So easily what I can show you, what I can see here is this client PC won't gain any control. And the controls still remain in this PC. So in this PC, I just play this game. So I just walk around, down with three characters. So my friends watch me play and get a good idea of how this game will work. So another way is, of course, I'm going to pause it. So another way is, I got some difficulty playing this game. So I want my friend to help me break through, break through this stuff. So I just say, hey, why not just play this game? And you tell me to kill this boss. Just click on. And then take a bit while. The control will begin here. So this controller from this client will get the control right from the host PC. So what I can do here is like play as me, play as the host. So I can help my friend to break through this piece, uh, break through this level to kill the boss, blah 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 blah. So of course, the other way is especially for games like trying to create supports like multiplayer at the same time. What I want to do here is like without the space limited, without location limited, I want to share this multiplayer experience with my friend. So I just choose place alongside me. So once I click it, the new control right will be sent to this client. So I cannot control the wizard anymore because the control right of this wizard says control one. It still remains in this whole city. So I can still move the wizard with the host controller. But with the client controller, however, I can initiate, start another character here. So actually, I can see two players in the same game trying to be killed. So that's how we do streams. I think this is the most interesting way 
because in the past, of course, you can start your Twitch and just get your frame one specifically one to view your channel. You're still doing one on one, just without any other viewers. But this co-op mode is so special because, just like I said, with double vacation limitation, you can experience the same game, playing the same game. You know, without location limitation, you can play the game with your friend, even if he's like you know, thousands away from you. You're saying um, you're saying distance isn't a limit, so to speak. So, what are the technical requirements if somebody wants to play over the internet using this technology? So, like I said, what we we're providing the, the technology wise, I think the most constrained thing is the internet connection. So, what I can provide you is the, the internet. Requirement is going to be like seven megabits as a minimum requirement. The ten, of course, is recommended. But for the latency stuff, of course, so it still need to be tested. So what we can provide you is, of course, marketing-wise, is like a distance. You know, I can play here with a long distance away from. But yeah, of course, you need to have a decent internet connection. But what we're trying to do here is to initiate this possibility. We want people to we want to get more feedback from the company, from the press, from other users to get this better. So yeah, why don't you guys just feel free to play it around? And if you want to change the mode of it, I can help you guys to change it. Just feel the latency and feel how this. And, so if uh, so, this is a stream of when when someone else is playing. It's a, it's using it's a stream of the guy who has the game. Yes, so basically the game is rendered here. The game itself, I mean the three D rendering, is rendered here. Yeah. And then the screen got encoded into a video stream and go through your internet to your client PC. In this client PC, we'll gather your input connection and send it back, send it back to your PC, send it back to the host PC. That's cool. Yeah. So if someone's in like Australia and then like the guy who's hosting is in Europe, there's going to be like a big like latency difference from like the controller and then coming back to you on the screen. Technically, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Yes. yes. We really support that. We just uh, show that. So we also support microphone and uh, okay. having this. So you can just plug in uh, your headset. You can communicate with your frame. Alex, is uh, any of the sh shield physical devices part of the beta for this to use it as a remote client instead of a um, PC? For this time being, just PC. Just PC. Yeah. And what, what, so, like, in the next stream, if I wanted to share it with someone, I just need to put in their email address and then the email goes to them. Like, I'm trying to understand what the next step after you click on that thing button and then you go play with someone else. Where, how do you send that to the person that you want to send it to? Um, and what kind of things are they doing? Like, do they need it? So as part of, this is the part of the connection process. Earlier during your keynote, you said I seven is the minimum for the re the remote. So they're going to have to install GeForce Experience. So how does it? How what client do they need to use to play the technology? Uh, what I can show you here is. It's running on Chrome browser. Okay, Chrome yeah. only. In, in uh, it's it's gonna be like a for, uh, version forty four and above. Do I need any plugins just to let the the correct Chrome build and it will For work? the first time you launch this this feature, a plugin gonna be installed. So just one time plugin. Yeah. So so yeah. is it like for example EA Battle Log where it has to have the plugin for the browser or this is a part of Chrome you utilizing? You know, for example, HTML5 or different Chrome technologies. Um, for now, you know, we're not ready to talk about too much detail about yeah, sure. the, the details about the backend. The the reason we mention this is some people obviously they have some frustration with the yeah. battle log. 
So if this needs a similar technology, it might be frustrating for some people to begin with because you're saying this is a beta. I understand. Yeah, it's a beta. So like I say, a lot of people want to have higher resolution. Uh, maybe you know some from Taiwan. I got asked when we will support H.265. All this kind of stuff. Of course, we're hearing that we were able to support like the other browser. All this kind of stuff. Of course, this is an initial beta launch. We want to like build this infrastructure and get the feedback from the community first. And at the same time, we're evolving this technology, of course. You want to get it back, of course. But for this time being, this is what you're going to show for the initial data launch.